Life in the present day is comparatively good. Great weather, good neighbors, and a clean lifestyle. Our problems are mostly about wars over oil and the economy. Only sometimes are we reminded of the bad chapters in human history. Perhaps a movie about old wartime Europe or Asia comes out. Maybe it's many countries in the world, like in World War II. Or unique to America, like the Civil or Revolutionary Wars. All these movies about the dark side of human history. Some are cultural, like Amistad, Roots, or The Diary of Anne Frank. Most directors of these movies try not to make you feel bad, but more defiant against tyranny and oppression, and try to leave you with a very Schindler-esque attitude. Perhaps you've heard about the Holocaust that took place in Europe 80 years ago. What is less known is that there was one that took place in America, one that still hasn't completely gone away, but still had its embers burning hot deep into the 1970s. That's the Holocaust and genocide of the Native Americans. While it is arguable that the worst of the genocidal programs directed against Native North America had ended by the 20th century, it seems undeniable that several continue into the present. Though there's still some of us left, we show the scars to this day. Many of the adults' minds have been tortured and warped into self-hating and raised hateful children as a result. From cowboys and Indians movies to plastic hula dolls, this happens through disenfranchisement and dancing bear publicity campaigns. It took hundreds of years to ruin our people. Hopefully it won't take as long to get back up. Let it be known, Adolf Hitler modeled his concentration camps after the 1800s American treatment of Indians. The settlement of the New World and Nazi conquest of living space in Eastern Europe known in German as Lebensraumpolitik bear more than casual resemblance to one another. After World War II, the world's ruling nations got together and said they made rules to stop genocide from ever happening again. It reads, Convention on the Prevention and Punishment of the Crime of Genocide, New York, December 9, 1948. The Convention, a major pillar in the evolving framework of international humanitarian rules, declares genocide a crime under international law. It condemns genocide, whether committed in a time of peace or in a time of war, and provides a definition of this crime. Moreover, the prescribed punishment is not subject to the limitations of time and place. The Convention defines genocide as any number of acts committed with the intent to destroy, in whole or in part, a national, ethnic, racial, or religious group, killing members of the group, causing serious bodily or mental harm to members of the group, deliberately inflicting on the group conditions of life calculated to bring about its physical destruction in whole or in part. In more recent times, there has been what is listed second to last in the Convention on Genocide, imposing measures intended to prevent births within the group. America ran a program of involuntary sterilizations of American Indian women by the BIA's Indian Health Service during the 1970s. The federal government announced that the program had been terminated and acknowledged having performed several thousand such sterilizations. Independent researchers have concluded that as many as 42% of all Native women of childbearing age in the United States had been sterilized by that point. That the program represents a rather stark and very recent violation of Article 1D of the 1948 Convention seems beyond all reasonable doubt. Last outlawed in the Convention, and the topic of the movie is forcibly transferring children of the group to another group, affected through such mechanisms as the U.S. Bureau of Indian Affairs, BIA, boarding school system, and a pervasive policy of placing Indian children for adoption, including blind adoption, with non-Indians. Such circumstances have been visited upon more than three-quarters of indigenous youth in some generations after 1900. The stated goal of such policies has been to bring about the assimilation of Native people into the value orientations and belief system of their conquerors. Basically, the goal has been to bring about the disappearance of Native societies, 
the massive compulsory transfer of American Indian children from their families, communities, and societies into your American families and institutions is a policy which is quite blatant in its disregard for Article 1E of the 1948 Genocide Convention. What happened to these children after their transferals is sad, and this is why so many Native people seem broken to this day, for it is the last tries of genocide. The following video is an example of one such tragic child transferal, an event that has happened too many times to real children, children too often forgotten about. 